What's that? That was rude, huh? Stop it! <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello. You guys know what today is? No. You don't First know what Tuesday. 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 Lives. You've yeah. been you've been around the longest. Yeah. You're the smartest. What? Today? Shimmer it down. The first day of the rest of your life. AKA Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> AKA Tuesday. Here we go to school. So in this book, it's father to daughter. It's a book lesson that I got from the book fair, and it said in the in one of them it says that instant that she knows. What does that say? Instant. No. Nope. Insist. Insist. That she not wear makeup until she's in middle school. That's actually gonna be high school for you, okay, bro? Oh. Sorry. High school. High but school. that's high. I'm in. Oh, just set that right there. Sorry. <laughs> Display her artwork in your office. Why should all the good stuff go on the refrigerator? It's a really cool book. It's like a bunch of little blurbs about how fathers and daughters should interact. <laughs> high school. <laughs> no makeup till high school. Pinky swear on it. Pinky <laughs> swear. <laughs> but I can do it for play, right? Sometimes you do it for play dates, but you can't wear it to school until high school, okay? High school. Okay. Say, I promise. I promise. Proof right there. Okay. Look, look. Say, remember this, Avia? Remember this, Avia? Okay. Yep. Goodbye. 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 Have a good day at school, guys. Love you. Bye. My babies are going to get their knowledge. Have a good knowledge experience. Love you guys. See you later. <laughs> Okay, they're gone, I can shut my mouth. So I just told the kids they have 13 days of school left. I don't think they realized how close they were to being done and they're just both were like, or all three of them. How many kids do I have? Three, three of them. They're like, what, 13 days? I remember being a kid when it was summertime and you were out of school for the summer, it was the greatest feeling in the world. It just meant playing and sleeping in and oh, I loved it. And in the morning, I'm making waffles. No, we're having juice. Look at that, that's pretty, huh? Grapefruit juice, fresh greens, carrot juice, orange juice. That's for Mommy Tart, because she has a thick, thick. It's raw organic, you guys. And then this, oh, have you guys ever heard of this? It's really good. I'm not sure if you guys have tried this. I would, I totally recommend it. Oh my goodness, dude. I didn't think that there was two giant snakes in my car. Oh, what are you doing with those pythons, bro? <laughs> well, you know. Case, you ready to go get swoldered? You getting ready to get swoldered up? I'm already swoldered up, man. I'm just about lean. It's about living a healthy lifestyle. So it's about those lifestyle changes, guys. Not, not, not no fad diets. It's about lifestyle changes. Yeah, he's he's working on his cuts. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> All right, how was school, my little minion? Grab <laughs> <laughs> sitting over as a play date. Her name's Esme. Yeah, you're doing your project, right? Because it's a big hard. project. Tell them what your project is on. So we're gonna do a snow avalanche. So, um, so you're today going to we explain were at how a snow avalanche is created or um, how well, it works. We did awesome. this uh, supplies. It says fake snow, cardboard box, paper, <laughs> glue, scissors, images of snow avalanches, poster board, and a table. And Love snow it. avalanches. When a thin layer of ice is on a mountain and a lot of different snowflakes fall on the thin layer of ice, then the thin layer can't hold all the snow so it falls and creates an avalanche. For example, if a cheerleader is holding a lot of cheerleaders and she can't hold all of them at once, they all fall over and that is the same thing as an avalanche. And then there's this picture of an avalanche. Oh, and then she drew that. You did that. I did the snowflake. <laughs> she's really good at it. She's well, your aunt Carly's gonna be so proud that you used a cheerleader example for your avalanche. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How was your day? Good. I found this in my drawer. Well, at school we don't have like desks underneath, so we have drawers. Right. Dude, Gavin, this is your secret crush. Oh, I like you a lot. Meet me in the garden tomorrow. I have something for you. Love your crush from Crush. Are you? 
serious? Yep. Yep. Secret notes and messages from an admirer? Who do you think it is? What if it's a guy and it's weird? <laughs> so wait, wait. You're supposed to meet them in the garden? Yeah. Yeah, there's like a garden. A this. secret meeting place. Yeah, Are you going to hide out and like peek in the garden and see who it is? I don't know. Or are you just gonna meet him there? I don't know. I'll just walk over there and see. Just walk over there and see? What if you don't like him? What are you gonna do? Get some. <laughs> no. What? I don't know. I bet you it's Abby. Abby? Maybe it's Black. Who's Abby? Abby? Or Alice. You don't know who Abby is? The same Abby? Yeah. Oh. Or Alice. Or Alice. Or oh, maybe <gasps> Sophia. Well. Here's what I think you should do. You should meet them at the garden just to see who it is and be courteous. But if you don't like them, you don't have to pretend like you like them, okay? Okay. You be picky, because you are worth so much. There are so many girls that will just love you, and you have to be very picky, yep. okay? Okay. Say, I'll only uh, I'll only date you if my mom likes you. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, ladies. <laughs> Focusing. How does this thing, it's not focus. What are you, what? Why are you all wet? You getting crazy in the kitchen? Hey, Dad. Come here for a sec. Okay. Come here. Yeah. Come here real quick. Let me see zip. Here, I think we should clean it off. No, no! <laughs> Water bar! Oh! Hey. Awesome! Amy, come here for a sec. <laughs> Amy, come here for a sec. What? Come here, just real quick. I want to show you something. No, I think. Oh, I threw a little bit of water, and then you threw it back at me, and it got me more wet, and then I got him really wet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you win. Sucker. You win. I always win. <laughs> Don't try to water fight with Shay, guys. We'll get really super competitive, and then you'll get it all wet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a knife. Was that enough? I'll say when it's a knife. She said that's a knife. Oh, you're right, it is a knife. You guess what this is? Spoon. <laughs> what? Hey, it's really me. You should do stuff for your son. We don't even have time. You cool if we don't do the Pinewood Derby this year, bro? Why? Just because I just don't want to. It seems like a lot of work and effort. You're lazy. <laughs> do your cry Says the again. one who did 52 miles. So you're saying I'm not lazy? Well, you're saying, I'm saying, what am I saying? I'm not sure. Why don't you explain Well, to I'm me? saying if you can... Dude, maybe Ron will help you with the Pinewood Derby. If you can do 52 miles, you can make a Pinewood car. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm Dude, can Ron be your new dad? Look, he's a nice guy. He has a denim coat. I that's would, trustworthy. I would suck at it. I'm already stressed out. <laughs> I just walked in the door. <laughs> I'll help you with your Pinewood Derby. But listen. You're gonna do a majority of it. Cause I get pissed off when I go to these things and you can totally tell the dad did 98% of it. He let the kid put the stickers on it at the very end. These are for the I kids. I sandpapered it and helped you cut it. Yeah, but this year, I'm serious. I will watch you, but I want, this is your third year doing a Pinewood Derby. So I want you to do like, I want you to do 98% and I'll do the other 2%, okay? Can you help you cut it though? Yeah, I'll help you cut it, but I'm gonna let you cut it and I'll just supervise. Okay. You cool with that? All right, next child. What's the next project? All oh, right, we have a science project here about snow avalanches. Man, that spray paint smells good. Hey, oh, is that gonna be like the avalanche is gonna come down on the house? Yeah, so there's like an avalanche right oh, that's here. That's vicious. Gonna, we're gonna like kind of put a bunch on it and then we're gonna like um, put some stones on top of it so then it will all fall down and crash the house. Oh, that's vicious. Are you gonna put little people in the house so they can get squished? Um, no. No? Cause it's kind of too late. So they're building an actual avalanche scene. They're doing, I don't know why. Why did you guys pick to do avalanches? She picked it. I had no idea. This is Princess Tard's friend, <laughs> Katy Perry. Nice hair, bro. I like it. <laughs> Her mom's a stylist, so. It's oh, awesome. I wish my mom was a stylist. Mom, why couldn't you have been a stylist? Hey, you guys, it looks good, you guys. I'm excited to see your actual so avalanche. Snow avalanche. Dude, Suntard, I'm seeing a lot more information on this science project than I'm seeing on yours, bro. Oh, is it? Well, I guess explosions are pretty cool. An explosion. <laughs> the best you can do. The best you can do. Oh, wow. That's the best you can do? I'm surprised you came up with that. Well, that you guys should fist fight. At least I was action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God.
Oh, I'm such a good example. All right, quit fighting. I'll shoot Diet Coke and Mentos on you guys. Who has the best science project? You pick. Me. Ron, are you stressed? Ron just walked in. He's like, this is too much. There's too many projects, man. There's too many projects. How do you get all these projects done? <laughs> all right, we're actually going to buy Ronald a new bicycle. Because we're doing a 100 mile race in July. Check it out. Nice car, my man. Dude, look at that. That's sweet. Is that a Model T? That was a Ford Model T, man. Dude, those are the first cars ever made, right? That was a lit, much later model. Yeah, but still, Henry Ford built that. Think about that. That was in the assembly line of Harry Ford Industries. Goodness gracious. That's history. I told him cool car. I don't think he thought that was cool that I told him cool car. Yeah, he was like, don't talk to me. He's like, don't look at me. I have a cool car. <laughs> I knew Henry Ford. He was such a car hipster. <laughs> Jeez. You're a glove hipster, bro. Listen, listen, man. <laughs> this is for my bicycling. I gotta get a, as much spandex as possible. I'm getting a good collection going. I asked Ron, I said, when are we gonna make the leap to full spando? Because <laughs> then we're those guys. When we go to full spando, then we're gonna be way cooler than you guys. Just so you know. I feel like we're just dipping our feet in the pool. You know? Each little thing. Yep, you're getting closer and closer. Yep. Pretty, pretty soon, soon you're gonna be full spando, bro. I feel like I'm way too fat to be in Spandex. <laughs> it's just not right. So Ron needs a 63 inch frame because he's a freaking jolly green giant. And on of these bike stores, the biggest one they have is like a 58. We did find a 61 inch frame that fit him, but he didn't think it was a cool bike. <laughs> Shake off hands, send me your bikes. Who has a 63 inch Trek cool bike they could send to Ron? Yeah, Do you guys anyone? bike, any of you cyclists? Anybody, anybody out there do cycling? What's the best bike? I have a Trek. He has a Bianchi. Is that right? Bianchi, yeah. Bianchi. What do you ride if you're a cyclist? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, thanks. All right, Rock Tart has a song he would like to sing. Let's hear it. One, two, three, four. And five go. Everything is the sun. Everything's cool. You're part of the team. Everything is the sun. <laughs> Great. That's a great song. I love it. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. And then And ID. Alright, we're going to Scouts right now. I would please rise. Color guards post the colors. If you're in uniform, please salute. If you're in regular clothes, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Please join in the law of the pack. The Cub Scout follows the Kayla. The Cub Scout helps the pack go. The pack helps the Cub Scout grow. The Cub Scout gives goodwill. No following your prompts. I can promise to do my best, to do my duty, to God and my country, to help other people, and to obey the law of the pack. Okay, so I just got uh, the note from Suntart's Secret Admirer. What did mom say about this? She's like, <sighs> Dear Gavin, this is your secret crush. I really like you a lot. Meet me in the garden tomorrow. I have something for you. What does she have for you? And what time? What time? Know, right? What time is he supposed to meet her? This note is insufficient information That's for you true. to rendezvous in the garden tomorrow. That's true. They were not specific enough. Plus, they spelled tomorrow wrong. There's two R's in tomorrow's secret crush. What are you going to do, dude? Uh, are you going to go to the garden? All day. It's going to wait. <laughs> like, teacher, can I go to the garden? Gavin, why have you been in the garden all day long? Planting. Are you going to go to the garden? Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Who is? What if they have like a kiss for you? Are you gonna kiss her? I don't know. Oh no. What? I need to. I need to know. You need to make the decision now. 
kiss for my mommy. Oh. Listen, here's a life lesson for you. You make decisions of what you're gonna do with your life right now. That way you will know what you're gonna do when that, that time comes up. Yeah. Like you have to make those decisions now because the second you're in that peer pressure situation, you're gonna do something that you never intended to do. You're gonna feel pressured into doing something that you did not wanna do. So for instance, if you, you wanna set a goal not to drink, you have to set a goal right now saying, I am never gonna drink, I'm not gonna drink, I'm not gonna smoke. That way when you're in that situation, you've already made the decision. So it's easy, you can just be like, no, no thank you. But if you haven't made that decision, you're gonna be in that peer pressure moment. Come on, man. Come on, dude, everybody's Come smoking me. these cigarettes. Everybody Come wants brown boys. lungs and cancer. No! That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> so you gotta make that decision now. So back to the question, are you gonna kiss your secret crush in the garden tomorrow? Well, if she doesn't wanna kiss me, well, if she does, then. You're gonna say yes, aren't you? No. Just level with us, bro. What as are you gonna do? As a girl as I like, I might make an exception. <laughs> you might make an exception. So, how many girls are there that you would make an exception for? I don't know. Um, have you ever kissed a girl on the lips? No. That was a trick mom. question. You better not have. Other than mom. So, how many girls are there that you would kiss if if they were there at the garden uh, tomorrow? I think only like one. One? Yeah. Why? Who is it? What's her name? Beep. She already kissed a boy. She did? I'm joking. Yeah. What do you mean you're joking? Well, she said you? not to tell anyone. <laughs> oh, oh, snap. What? I'll edit that name out then. Yep, she's gonna yell at you later. Though. I'm gonna edit the name out. That way they won't know who it was. Oh snap. Oh, snap. She's gonna yell at me like this. It's a little bit. It's so cute. This girl thinks you're so cute. I'll edit out the name so nobody will know who it is, okay? A lot of people watch our videos. Who oh, no. am I talking? Okay, it's time for bed. Click that. Click on what? Click it. Is that the new epic rap battle of history with Epic Lloyd and Ray William Johnson? Yeah, they say naughty words. They're not for kids to watch. I know it looks cool, but you can't watch that. Good job, epic rap battles of history. My three-year-old. <laughs> you can't watch it. I'm sorry. It has, it has naughty words in it. You're not ready. You're not ready for that kind of language. All right, bedtime. It's time to go sleep. What? It's time to go sleep. It's time to go sleep. 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 Why? I need. I need. I need my Legos. Oh, go get your Legos. Okay. Good night, everybody. Hey, you got to give us an update, all right? I want, an, I want an update for the secret garden tomorrow, okay? Okay. I'm actually going to be hiding outside of your school filming the secret garden. <laughs> so here's a question in the comments below. How old were you when you had your first kiss? And if you haven't had your first kiss, don't let anybody pressure you into having your first kiss or doing anything you don't want to do for that matter. My first kiss was Jenny Kirkham. I was in seventh grade and she was in ninth grade, an older woman. She was my next door neighbor. Yeah, that was good times. You know what I'm saying? She definitely forced me into it. No, just kidding. <laughs> Check out this end slate. Isn't it good? An art student did that for us. The whole family, even the chicks. There's Ezekiel in the background, and I think we're in a watermelon patch, and that's what makes it the best. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Click on yesterday's vlog. Click on that mystery button and see what the Shade Tires are doing. One, two, three, four, and five years ago today. See you tomorrow.